In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to stroke a path, which is a fairly easy technique, although sometimes a bit tricky to remember all the steps. So hopefully this will help you out. I'm going to start here with the shape tool, and I'm just going to make a rectangle. We're just going to keep this pretty easy. Um, and then I'm just going to choose a red so you can see what I'm doing next. I'm going to make a new layer because I want my uh, what I'm going to do next to be on a new layer. I don't want it to be on the same layer as the rectangle. Um, I'm going to get my brush. I've got lots of brushes here. I just I'm going to use a basic brush for this. Um, and I'm going to put this to 50. Um, so you can see on here, this is how big the circles will be then that will go around my rectangle. So you can obviously make this bigger or smaller, a different shape for whatever kind of technique you are using. And then the other thing to do is to come up here to the brush palette. Um, you can also find this up here, brush. And I want to increase the spacing. So this is how much space will be between the circles. So obviously you can increase, decrease that as you like. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the shape down here and then make sure you come back to your empty layer. Then we're going to go over here to paths and if you don't have this, if you don't have any of these little windows, you can find them all up here so that you know if they go missing that's where you find them. And then come down here to one of these icons. You can always hover over it if you don't know what they are and we want the one that says make a path. Okay, so now it has taken my selection and you can see it's put a very faint line around it. I'm going to go back, I'm pushing B for brush, so I have my brush selected with all the settings we already set up. I'm going to right click and say stroke path. And this will pop up and you want to make sure that this you select brush because we've just set all the settings on the brush and so if you use something else who knows what will happen. And we just push OK and there you go. Nice and easy.